Hello and welcome back. In this next uh, lesson we're going to talk about limits and continuity. Let's start by looking at the properties of the limits. The limit of a constant is that constant. The limit of x when x approaches a is a. The limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. The limit of a difference is the difference of the limits. The limit of a constant times a function is that constant times the limit of the function. The limit of a product is the product of the limits. The limit of a quotient is the quotient of the limits. Make sure the limit in the denominator does not equal zero. The limit of a power is the power of the limit. Make sure the exponent is a rational number. In other words, can be expressed as a fraction. So integers or fractions. The limit of a root is the root of the limit, again making sure that the root exists. Keep in mind that a function can be discontinuous even if a limit exists for that function at a given uh, value of x. So we say that a limit of g of x exists when x approaches a, as you can see here, because the limits exist. The limit from the left exists, the limit from the right exists, but the function g of x doesn't get any value when x equal a. So we talked about continuity and what are the conditions to be met for a function to be continuous. Now let's look at the type of discontinuities that we will encounter. There are three types as you can see in these graphs. We have the jump discontinuity, infinite discontinuity and removable discontinuity. In the jump discontinuity the function has a value of y for any value of x but at some point uh, performs a jump so there is a gap there. For the infinite discontinuity we have vertical asymptotes so um, 
we are familiar with these uh, rational functions usually have this kind of behavior. And then the removable discontinuity is a function that for some value of x uh, the function just doesn't have a solution. Another way to quickly decide if a function is uh, continuous or discontinuous is to evaluate the graph of the function. So if you graph this function without raising your pen from the paper, obviously the function is continuous. As you can see in these three sketches, you cannot do that. Therefore the functions, all of them, are discontinuous. Sometimes the limit of a function such as this one, f of x, when x approaches a, will result in an indeterminate form such as this, 0 by 0. That should uh, let you know that you can actually uh, eliminate this indeterminate form by finding an equivalent function that represents uh, f of x for all the values except when x equal a. You will do that by uh, using three methods. First one is factoring. You can factor your uh, function f of x eliminating the factors that are creating this indeterminate form. Another method would be rationalizing the numerator or the denominator. Again, for the same reason to eliminate this indeterminate form. Or by simplifying. Simply reducing the like terms and uh, therefore eliminating the indeter indeterminate form.